Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to Teachopedia. In this video, we will be working on a dynamic data set. We will apply data pre-processing technique with Python on this data set. We will first extrude this data set using pandas basic functions and then we use pandas cleaning functions to handle null values in this data set. So let's get started. We will first explore a library called pandas. Make sure it's already installed in your computer. If not, use pip install pandas to install this library. After importing this library, we will read a CSV file for that contains Titanic data. We then print some header and rows, the first five rows, to get some idea about how much, how the rows look like and how many columns we have if we go into this kaggle data set from where i have downloaded this data we can see that there are multiple columns like survival rate the values are zero or no like zero for no one for yes whether a passenger survived or not p class is the class like first class second class third class passengers then we have gender age details, ticket number, fare price, cabin number, and embark. Moving on, we will then use data types function of pandas and see the data types of those columns. And then we can apply dot columns to just print the columns name. Let's now explore the different columns and its details. First of all, we will see survived. So survived contain two distinct values 0 and 1. 0 means passenger didn't survive and 1 means passenger survived. So if we move on we can see that there were total number of passengers in this data were 891. In that list number of passengers who survived were 342 and number of passengers who didn't survive were 549. To check how we print this, first use data survive to print its values. It will print all the values. Now we concern with ones and zeros, one by one. So well, we will see first one. So it will make sure that it will highlight this as true for those rows which contain one. Same goes for zero. It will highlight as true or false so we just get the length of those which were true and print it out so if if you combine and add these two 549 and 342 you will get 891 which is the total number of passengers in titanic then moving on we will explore now column called sex or gender in this we have male passengers 571 and female 340 now let's find out what is the percentage of men and women who survived. To do that, we will use a column called data sex and data survive. We'll apply and get the percentage using this formula. I am multiplying 100 by the mean of survival rate and then finding out in that survive rate which were the male and which were the female. So it looked like a percent of male were lesser than percent of female because they were more focused to save the life of women and children. So we can see that 18% of the men were survived and 74% of female were survived in 549. Oh sorry, 342 passengers. You see that I have printed out a separate just to i have separated out this thing as well just to get you know the idea how it's calculated now let's find out what is the percentage of men and women who survive and then by the same token with class and age we will see how were the differentiation in their class like there is a column called p class which identify first class second class and third class passengers so in that p class we have mostly third class passengers 
491 then first class 216 and then the middle class or second class 184 in that the person of passengers percentage of passengers who survive in first class was 62 and percentage of third class passengers were 24 let's print it out the p class and the survival rate and group by p class just to get what were the percentage between these classes we will use p class and then survive rate just to print it out as columns then group by P class and then we'll just print it out its mean. So, as you can see, by passenger class, we have now its survival rate. So, they were more focused to save the life of first class passenger. So, if we plot the summary, we can have an idea that we have around 891 rows and 12 columns then if we print the information of this data frame we get to know that there were many null values in cabin embark and each columns the data types also indicates that what type of data it contains so we need to convert this those column which have objects or string values in it so that we can use for further analytics purpose i just printed out the value count for age and cabin just to get some idea so there were more 24 year uh, 24 year old passengers there were 30 there were also newborn babies as well 0.4 to decades that so to convert a categorical value into numeric we will use a lambda function so the purpose of lambda function is that simple we define a function simple as that and then we just check if it's a male or female if it's male return one else zero so this x is the argument in both user defined function and lambda function so this is the difference between user defined function and lambda function this is a user defined function if x is equal to male return one in the we define this in user defined function in lambda function we define all of these things in one line of code we will first pass we will we first pass the return value then we check the if clause the only difference here is that in lambda function we first return the statement after if it's if statement the else part is similar in both cases the only difference is no keyword no return keyword use return keyword is not used in lambda function the apply means that for each value in the column the statement in the bracket should be read as follow for every value in the column lambda x if it's male then replace with one otherwise replace with zero that's what we are using here we are checking for this specific column and applying the lambda function and checking if it's a if it's one then uh, if it's male then return one adds zero simple as that this function convert our categorical value into numerical so as you see we got a numerical value of this data previously it was like male female and now it's one zero on zero it's male that's why it's one so i hope you get some idea about how to apply lambda functions on a specific column in data frame now we will be dealing with missing value so to first check how many null values we have in this data set we will apply is null dot sum that will give us a rough estimate of how many null values in which column are there we will first take a copy of our data frame just to be sure that we didn't lose our old data So as you can see age cabin and bar contain null values and we need to tackle these columns so first of all age is a number so we need to so we need to be more focused towards the mean value 
so we will replace and fill with null, null values with the mean of h column so if i convert and get the mean of this h column we have 29 so we will replace all the null values with this mean and apply it on h column so now after applying we don't have any null values in h column now comes to the embark of value because it contains only two null values so in embark we have different classes you can see it's for port of embarkation c for queen for queenston s for southampton so now to tackle it we can do two, two things we can either drop those values because it only had two null values so we, we can easily drop those or we can replace with the mode of this column so either we drop this either we drop those rows or we can replace with mode so if we print the mode we get s because it contains s c q as different values and if we replace this it will fill all those null values in this embark column with the mode of this column which is s in place true means that it will do all these changes inside this data frame moving on for the cabin side we have different cabin numbers like g6 b96 c23 it clearly defines that the numbers are like 6 96 23 were rooms and b c d a for the decks in that ship so either we replace this with the mode or we can handle it in different ways but now for the simple side we will just replace all the null values with the mode of, of this column in when printing the mode we get different values you can choose any of them we choose the first one which is b96 b98 and now we are in a stage that we don't have any null values in any of these columns we can now further use these values and this data that is df2 data frame for further analytics purpose now at the end i just print the correlation get some idea about how were the columns performance with others like passengers you can compare with survival rate passengers can be compared with p class survival rate can be compared with sex age fare and so on so i hope you get some idea about how to explore a data set or a new data set and then apply pandas different function for cleaning that data if you have any questions do let me know in the comments. Until next time, thank you. Take care.